One person has been taken to hospital as firefighters continue to battle a scrap metal yard fire in Lower Hutt. There are concerns smoke emitting from the blaze could be toxic. And as Mariana Johnson reports, firefighters say it could burn for days. Plumes of dirty grey smoke were seen billowing down the Wellington coast this morning from the Macaulay Metals scrapyard in Seaview. There was confusion in the industrial area as workers tried to get through but were stopped at a cordon on the corner of Seaview Road and Parkside Street. Nigel Hanford was one of them. They've had a couple of fires but nothing, nothing like this. We come in over the wife bridges at Wife Two, and you can see it from there. But um, she's looking pretty, pretty smoky. Nigel Hanford says he couldn't smell anything, but people downwind had told him it stunk. Placemakers employee Brent Grinlay was also caught at the cordon. Because it's a recycle place, they burn stuff now and then. Like to get, I think it's to get the copper and wire out, and they were been burning a little bit all week. But that's the first I've seen them like that. There are concerns the smoke may be toxic because of insulation from old whiteware that is on the 60 metre long pile of scrap metal. Firefighters believe it was a spark from a cutting machine that ignited the blaze. Hutt Valley Fire and Emergency Assistant Area Commander Matthew Abel says fire crews have been working all day to contain the blaze. This is going to be a long duration fire because it is so deep seated. The Macaulay Metals digger operators are at the moment working with our firefighters and pulling the metal out so we can get water in. Matthew Abel says neighbouring buildings have also been evacuated. One employee of Macaulay Metals was sent to hospital suffering from smoke inhalation. Macaulay Metals finance manager Rachel Lavis says the employee was immediately discharged and is at home resting. She says the fire was likely started by a lithium battery. Investigations are still underway but we would be really surprised if the fire came from refrigeration units. Um, based on our experience in the industry we think it's much more likely that it was caused by a lithium battery arcing or sparking. Rachel Lavis says the company is scrupulous when it comes to checking incoming scrap metal but small objects like lithium batteries from phones can occasionally be missed. A fire and emergency spokesperson says puffs of smoke are still coming off the pile. They are advising anyone that can smell smoke to close their windows and isolate the air conditioning. Three fire trucks are on the scene and are expected to remain overnight. For Checkpoint, call Mediana Johnson TNA.